Never, you will never imagine who, who is going home. Who? Nikona. No. Kiran. Oh, Kiran. Kiran, the, the IMH, the like auntie, the old auntie. Oh my god, this, this is going to be the most beautiful adoption today. Yeah, Kiran, you're going home, Kiran. The dog has an owner, but the owner has to be warded in hospital. And this lady actually came forward and wants to adopt the dog. I read about her story in uh, Voices for Animals uh, Facebook and I really feel for the owner and her. And I understand that it's very unlikely to, for people to adopt her because uh, she's 12 years old. But um, I don't mind, I'm willing to adopt an old dog. Once she adopted the dog, she will actually bring the dogs and visit the owner so that the old owner can actually see the dogs again. For Kiran, for Kiran's case, right, we are waving away the adoption fee so you don't have to do any adoption. We are looking for people with an open heart. They actually look at the dogs beyond their physical appearance. We want all the adopters to come with such mentality. Some of them, they just want to help the dog, but some of the dogs, they require a lot of medical, financial needs. A lot of people, they, they are unaware of this. So this is a thing that we need to prep them. She asked about the background and actually they need to share with us the information. If they actually pass through the first, uh, first stage of interview, we actually will bring the dog to interact with them. Perhaps love at first sight. When I look at the dog and I feel that you know, we are really close to, to her and the colour of her, it's the same as my previous dog. That's why I decided to choose her. After that, there will be another interview so that you will ask them more of an in-depth question, more, getting into more personal stuff, like their family background. Once they share and we actually find that they are really the ideal family and the dogs is really comfortable with the owner, so we are actually do the necessary releasing. When I was young and when I was rebellious, my, my dad got me a dog and it actually keeps me sane and in control. I was pretty much of a hot temper person, but my animals was beside me, they are able to calm me down. So that's how I feel that animal therapy is important because I'm the one actually experiencing it. I was working uh, in the police canine unit for about 10 years and I actually went, underwent various dog training from security dog training, narcotic dog training, and explosive dog training as well. Working with animals is definitely better working with, with human. The dogs being the most loyal animals, when it comes to situation and they wouldn't abandon you, they'll, they'll be there to protect you, they'll be there for you. So you have really guaranteed yourself a best partner when you join the police canine unit because that we wouldn't play out in a way, they will actually protect you. A pet can actually bring out things that uh, it's more than what one expected. We go to uh, Society for the Physical Disabled. It brings them laughter and they actually bring joy. We actually move to different various places in, for the animals to actually to meet people in need. We want the animal to contribute to the society because I believe that all these animals they can make a difference in individual life. <laughs>